expert Mark Horwood. But if you've had to make a telephone call to one of your service providers or a government organisations or businesses, let me know how long you've been waiting on the phone. 922 How have the wait times blown out over the last two months? I can guarantee there won't be a sizable wait time on 6PR this afternoon, uh, but an incentive for you to call. You might win Perth Live's Caller of the Day. And if you win that particular prize, then you're going to take with you a takeaway high tea for two valued at 110 bucks from Bar Uma at the Pan Pacific Hotel. You can spoil your mum this Sunday with an exquisite selection of sweet treats and savoury delights, perfect for an afternoon tea at home or a picnic in the park. You can order yours online, baruma.umaperth.com.au or give us a call on 922 and tell us how the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a blowout in call wait times to businesses. Which ones have you been calling and how long have you been waiting on the phone? 28 to 4, John Nichols has 6 PR News headlines. Good afternoon. Thank you, Wally. Good afternoon. Cardinal George Pell. Businesses that you're calling during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Hello, Ben. Yeah, good day, Ollie. How you going, man? Yeah, good, Ben. Who have you been trying to ring and how long have you been waiting for? Mate, I've um, been trying to get in touch with Medicare. Obviously, there's the opportunity to get a bit of money out of the superannuation. Mm-hmm. Um, and to do that, I needed to link me Medicare with the, uh, the MyGov. Um, at. And uh, yeah, mate, it's, I think the most frustrating thing with this is that they put you through to like all these, these you know, this phone messaging, yeah. and then it's press one, two, three, four, five, whatever it may be, mm. and then you go through to another phone message, you know what I mean? Sure. Um, which, and look, I understand they're busy for the rest of it, but you know, we're eight, eight, ten weeks into this thing now, you know? Sure, absolutely. So how many times just, have you tried, Ben, or how long have you been waiting on the other end of the phone? Oh, uh, mate, I, I've tried about four or five times, and I went down to the local June Love Centre link there, and the yeah. lines are still pretty deep, you know. And um, and just one other thing I want to share today, Ollie, is um, I uh, I've gone from job keeper today, and I've just had a meeting with my boss and my general manager at ten o'clock this morning, and they've made me redundant. And um, just to share, shed a bit of positive light on everything that's happening, you know what I mean? Like for me, it's actually uh, it may sound silly, but it's a it's a bit of relief, mate, because now I know where I stand. It's not sure. this second guessing if I've got a job anymore. Yeah. Um, and um, I couldn't be more grateful and uh, more thankful for my boss. He's given me his car for three weeks. Uh, he's given me an extra uh, a week in my pay, you know. So just the generosity from, from that perspective has been great. And um, I'm just very grateful that the government has put in those things, such as being able to defer my mortgage repayment, not have to pay a couple of personal loans and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Sure, so, sure, absolutely. Uh, well, Ben, you're, you're turning at what could be a difficult situation into as positive a situation as you can. Do you want to give the business a shout or, or at least the industry, mate? Uh, I'm in the mining industry, mate. I won't, I won't shout out. It's a smaller business, but sure. um, I can't be more grateful for John. And um, one other thing, mate, is for all us Australians, how lucky are we to live in a country like this? You know what I mean? Like yeah, well those said. people in third world countries, they've got no food, no money coming in. You know, we're, we're, we're blessed. Yeah, stay strong, Ben. Thank you very much for your call, mate. Hi, Jason. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good, Jason. Besides waiting six minutes and 59 seconds for you, <laughs> no, um, <laughs> that's not too bad, though, Jason, is it? Well, it's not that bad. I rang up, they put me on hold straight away. I was like, isn't that what it's about? But anyway, it's all good. <laughs> well, at least My, you get to uh, still hear the program, Jason. That's the good thing. So it doesn't cut out the radio. Is, yeah, that is true. That is true. Mine's with Foxtel, right? So yes. they send you a text to ring them because uh, my plan had run out and they were going to charge me the full price. It took me uh, the first time two hours and 43 minutes. So I rang at 4 o'clock WA time, so at 6 o'clock their time. It went, obviously, they, by the time I got through to their, their person, he goes, oh, you've got the wrong department. Let me forward you on to the right department. No dramas. Then I get the message saying, sorry, we are closed. Business hours are between uh, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, no. I was like, I was like <laughs> you're kidding me, mate. Like, how crap is that? That is. I mean, at least I should tell you up front, you know, the wait time is two hours at least, and we close at 8 o'clock, and you could have made your decision of your own to, to hang up and try and call them back. So I'm sure many people are in a similar circumstance. Let's go to Mark Hallwood. He's the telecommunications expert at Captive Connect. Mark, good afternoon to you. Thanks for your time. That story from Jason is probably something becoming very, very familiar to you. 
Uh, very much so, Ollie. Good afternoon to you and every listeners. Uh, yes, I think Jason's had um, <clears throat> the same experience I had with IONET myself the other day. They got a really, really good idea. They said, we can't actually deliver the, uh, the, the speed of the NBN that you'd subscribe to because like everybody else, I upped it when the COVID came on. Sure. But if you'd like to phone us on this 1300 number or 1800 number, uh, then we'll reduce your fee. And I thought, wow, well, that's good service, isn't it? Yeah. So I sat on hold for two and a half hours uh, until such time as I got a message saying, sorry, we're now closed. <laughs> that must be so frustrating. Look, we understand there's going to be greater demand at the moment because of the coronavirus. Some of the statistics you have on hand, Mark, will blow people's socks off. Yeah, well, the, the, we, we monitor these stats globally because our system is able to, to, to measure them. Uh, last year, if we take February, the beginning of COVID, for example, mm -hmm. last year the average call wait time in, in all the businesses was 29 seconds. That's pretty reasonable. Very good. This year, 102 seconds. So three, three and a half times as long. Mm -hmm. Now, this is right across the board. This isn't government departments or Medicare or uh, Centrelink or any of those guys. They're just normal, everyday businesses. And that, of course, is brought about by people working from home. But the other factor, of course, is that we're making more calls because there were businesses who we used to go and knock on the door of and walk into, mm. uh, and some of that business has gone online, that we buy stuff from uh, by the computer, but some of it's also gone to the phones. So pe businesses are getting more phone calls. They've got less people available to, uh, to, to manage those calls because they've put people off, people working from home and so on. So hence the things are blowing out. And I think like uh, both both Ben and Jason, you know, we sort of, we understand it's going to be a while, mm. but just don't abuse your customers. Don't abuse them by, you know, putting them on hold for, us, in Jason's case, two hours and 43 minutes and then say, sorry, goodbye, we're yeah. closed now. Good. That's exactly uh, right. give, them, give them something decent because there's, the new technology out there now is a bit like your 6PR on hold. So you can actually listen to something interesting, which of course is you, Ollie, uh, and the occasional ad and those sorts of things, but it's dynamic, it's interesting. Absolutely. Well, compliments um, so like that, Mark. You'll be on the program a lot more. Often than <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> so don't worry about that. Well, there's even some of the technology isn't there where you can ask for a callback when there's space in the queue. Yeah, exactly right. They're very simple things, and they're not expensive, but people, I guess, don't understand or don't know about them. So, for example, there's one that uh, that we have called the jukebox, where if they haven't got a radio plugged in, but um, say like the press ones and things that uh, that Ben was talking about that he loves with a passion, uh, press one for music, or two for to play a quiz, mm. or three to listen to a podcast whilst you're waiting. So if, for example, that uh, Ben was on the phone to Medicare and he says, listen, uh, it's going to be a while, um, press one for music. What sort of music do you like, Ben? Uh, oh, I want jazz. Okay, press two for jazz or three for pop or four for dance or whatever it might be. And it plays him the music that he wants. That's good idea. That technology is available now easily or a quiz. Um, so, okay, who, who, won, who, who sang this song? Play a little bit of a song. Just something to engage us. So that in those long call wait times, but you know, even six minutes is pretty pretty lengthy. But two and a half hours that we're facing at the moment is terrible. Yeah, the um, other challenges yeah. with this, Mark, would be a, a lot of the companies, particularly a lot of our bigger companies, had call centres offshore, and because of the coronavirus, particularly, I'm thinking in some of the our Asian neighbours, uh, those call centres have been completely unable to be manned and we're having to bring some of those jobs back on shore if that's at all possible to get the call centres up and operating as quickly as possible with a surge in demand. Exactly. At the Philippines, that I think um, Virgin and uh, I think Optus might have their call centres over in the Philippines. Telstra certainly does. Um, they force their people to go home because their technology is not quite as advanced as ours. So at our stuff, you know, within two or three minutes, we can have somebody working from home mm. and still answering the same phone. But over there, the uh, the technology available is uh, is not quite as advanced. So those things had to get shut down for a while. And of course, that made it even worse. So the technology is available now. It's just a case I think we need we need to take code and say, well, it was a big lesson learned from there. Because it will happen again. Something will happen again, a fire, a flood or whatever. Uh, and the phones are going to ring off the hook. And when they do, we need to be ready for it. We need to allow the customer and give them some respect so that uh, they're getting an enjoyable experience. After all, they're lending 
they're lending you their time. And in all social reactions, it, if I lend you something, Ollie, I expect you to be paid back. Yeah. Uh, and you owe me a beer to pay me the interest on it or what it might, whatever the consideration might be. But if I lend you something and you just take it and don't give it back, I, I know it comes with any loyalty towards that particular business anymore. Yeah, spot on, Mark. Really good to talk to you this afternoon. Appreciate your expertise. That is Mark Horwood, the CEO at Captive Connect, a telecommunications expert. Uh, let me know if you have been on hold for a little bit longer than normal due to the coronavirus. You understand that the delay and the wait time will be that little bit longer. Or you might have a few companies or examples that Mark just highlighted to you where the technology is available to make that time that you're on hold even more enjoyable than it is right now. It might not just be that on hold or elevator type music. Nine double two double one eight eighty two. Perth Live at 6PR.com.au or jump online, Oliver Peterson 6PR if you want to have your say.